Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. If you guys didn't know, the May sale is finally here in War Thunder for the Gaijin store. And this is something a lot of people have been waiting for because this is, of course, where you can purchase the premium packs at a discount. And this year is a little bit different. Uh, a lot of people might be a little upset with this, but I'll go over in just a few moments. And besides, I will be providing a very quick buyer's guide where I just kind of look at each vehicle and I say, this is worth it, this isn't, so on and so forth. So you might want to stick around for that. But that said, this sale runs from May 6th all the way to May 13th from 11 GMT to 11 GMT. And just to start it off, they have three different bundles. So you have the Wings of Victory bundle, Tracks of Victory bundle, and of course the Weapons of Victory bundle. Now it's important to know, Weapons of Victory bundle is at 50% discount, whereas the Tracks and Wings of Victory are in individually at 30% off so if you're looking to purchase both the tracks and wings of victory you may as well do it in the weapons of victory bundle because you'll get a bigger discount doing it now that being said the vehicles on sale here are pretty identical to what we have in the regular tech tree as in these are just personalized vehicles now there are some unique vehicles in here for example the Boswix p47 m1re is actually that's the only m1re in war thunder if i'm not mistaken so it's a unique vehicle but really Realistically speaking, it doesn't really impact gameplay all too much from other higher BR P47s. Much the same goes for Wetmore's P51 D10. That, if I'm not mistaken, is the only D10 in the American Air Tech Tree, but it's not really going to impact gameplay all too much from your other P51 D variants, at least from around the D5 and I believe like, what, the D15 there might be? Either way, it's not all too much. Now, the thing to look at when it comes to all of these is that each and every one of these comes in a pack and the thing that comes in a pack is also premium time so you get 15 days of premium time for each and every one of these so for example uh you get one two three four five six six different sets of 15 days of premium time which is 90 days of premium time for the tracks of victory bundle and of course the black prince is actually a uh unique vehicle so you want to bear that in mind and also the t3485 e is slightly unique in that it has like cage or slat armor around the turret so i mean it's not really better but i guess it can detonate heat a little bit prematurely if it hits the turret anyways doesn't really matter you basically have all these they're more or less personalized vehicles and with the exception of pretty much the black prince they're more or less just variants or just very slight variants of vehicles that we already have in game and then, of course, we have the part that I'm sure most of you have been waiting for, the vehicle pack sales for the vehicle packs that, uh, well, most people care about. And, yeah, like I said, this is going to upset some people. You might notice as you're looking at this list, there are a few exceptions here, a few things that are missing, and uh, by a few, I mean a whole bunch bunch basically a whole bunch of the top tier or near top tier vehicles like the leopard 2a4 panzer battalion 123 the m1 clickbait uh the t72 av terms t those are not here uh and quite a few others so i'll go over that in just a second but it is worth noting before i jump into that the is2 revenge is temporarily on sale for golden eagles Basically, this is just an IS-2 mod 1944 that will be on sale for Golden Eagles uh, for 7,480 Golden Eagles specifically, which is kind of cool in my opinion, but again, this is just more or less a personalized variant of the IS-2 mod 1944. Now, it is very important to note that the VRCC Centauro Prince Eugen HMS Iron Duke, AVAA Harrier, Rue Cat 105, and Merkava Mark 2D are all going away after this sale they'll be retired i'm sure they'll come back in the future at some point or another but that's not guaranteed and in what way we have no idea so if you want to purchase these vehicles now's probably the time to do it and they are at least on sale for 50 percent off now importantly here I really like the VRCC in Tor Centauro. The ABA 8A is very good as an overall vehicle. Ruricat 105, excellent vehicle. Same with the Merkava Mark 2D. The, those are all excellent vehicles. And I really like the Prince Eugen as well for Naval. So it's a damn shame that they're getting rid of these because they are all actually what I would consider to be purchasable and really good vehicles. So it's a bit upsetting to see them go. But again, they should be back in the future. Now that said, let's go ahead and look at the sale. And I can hopefully give you guys somewhat of a, uh, again, a quick buyer's guide 
as to what's on sale. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at these vehicles from the top sellers. I'll just kind of work my way through each and every one of them again. This is going to be somewhat quick. K9 Vidar, this thing is extremely powerful. It is really one of the more cheaty vehicles in War Thunder. Bear in mind, it does not kill enemies by uh, penetrating via like an armor piercing shell, for example, AP or AP CBC or anything like that. Rather, this fires HE at enemies and it is extremely powerful in how, uh, how much HE filler is actually in these shells and also the amount of damage that it does. So it's extremely powerful. I love it. Fully recommend it. Also, this is a very quick vehicle relative to what it is. Next up, the King Tiger Pack. Now, this has the Tiger 2 SLA-16. You want to bear that in mind. It's not exactly the same as the King Tiger 2 H. However, it is slightly better because it has a diesel engine and, if I'm not mistaken, about 50 additional horsepower. So it's a little bit quicker in terms of its max horsepower, plus it hits its max horsepower a little bit earlier in the RPM range, which means that it accelerates a bit quicker. I do have reviews on all these, by the way, so bear that in mind, or at least the vi uh, vast majority of them. Also, I think there's a touch more track armor on the side of the turret, but that's pretty much it. So, of course, next up, we have the Term 3, and a lot of people might consider this to be quote-unquote cheaty in the same-ish way as the K9 Vidar. It is extremely powerful, fires a 105mm cannon with DM-12 heat FS, which is around 400 millimeters of armor pen. Currently, it is 8.3 BR. It's an autoloader with a five-second reload. Plus, of course, it also has a 30 millimeter auto cannon on top of the turret. This thing can take out light vehicles with no issues and aircraft. It is just a menace all around, except it does, of course, have very weak armor. So I really like it. It's very powerful and is a hell of a vehicle. Next, we have the T-29. This is kind of like your classic heavy tank. Very good. Uh, again, I do have reviews on pretty much all of these. I do like it. It's a little bit unwieldy because it's so big, but still a very powerful vehicle, which I would actually say I would recommend the IS-6 above the T-29. Also, the T-29 is rank 4, IS-6 is rank 5, which is a... Uh, a big distinction that you do want to make, the IS-6 does have a larger amount of vehicles that you can actually grind with or grind through with it rather than the T-29 because, of course, you can grind through rank 6 with this, whereas this you can only rank, grind through rank 5 without penalty. Now, that said, this is a very powerful vehicle. I think I saw a BR increase somewhat recently. Maybe I'm just forgetting things, but it's still a very powerful vehicle. It's actually quite quick. It's got a quicker reloading cannon than other vehicles that have the 122 millimeter cannon. It's just overall a very good vehicle. In some ways, it kind of feels like a an up armored medium tank because of the uh, speed that it moves with. Next up, we have the Wyvern. This is very similar to the Vidar and the Term 3 in that other people feel that this is cheaty as well. And I have to agree. It's a very powerful vehicle, rank 4, $15. In my opinion, this is one of the most powerful vehicles at its BR range. I believe currently it's at 4.3 BR. Extremely powerful with its great speed, excellent CAS capabilities, and really powerful cannons. Next up, the Samua SM. Love this thing. Rank 5 heavy tank. This thing only fires solid shot sh uh, shells. However, it has an auto loader that I believe is a 5 second auto loader. It's actually a very quick vehicle and has pretty good armor as well so i fully recommend it next of course we have the mustang pack this features the p51d20 pretty much this is just your standard p51d it's got hmgs but you can fire them with incendiary tracers which are fantastically powerful versus pretty much every other aircraft in game it's got good cas capabilities of course pretty good performance as well just a very good overall performance uh, from the Mustang D20. Now, one thing about this, it doesn't really excel too much in any one way, and also its rudder is a little bit weird, so you want to consider that, but overall, still a very capable vehicle. Next up, we have the AV-8A Harrier. Very powerful vehicle. Personally, I kind of prefer this over the F5C. That's just my opinion. It's a strike aircraft, so you can do a little bit better insofar as CAS is concerned, again, in my opinion, versus the F5C+. Plus, it's a lower BR than it. Now, it is a bit slower than the F5C in so far as its overall top speed is concerned, but still a very, very capable vehicle, whether you're going after aircraft or ground targets. And then, of course, we have the Arkansas. Honestly, I don't really know too much about it. It's a very powerful vehicle in so far as being a battleship is concerned, but it's your standard premium battleship. Not really necessarily all too special. Very powerful cannons, very powerful armor. 
but honestly, don't really know all too much about it. Can't recommend it one way or the other. Next up, we have the Ruicat 105. This is an extremely powerful vehicle, currently 9.3 BR. It's got DM33 ammunition with over 400 millimeters of armor pen. It's a very fast vehicle. It's got thermals. I really like this thing. Even though it's seen a BR increase, it is still extremely powerful. I fully recommend it. Object 120. This is another one that has seen a BR increase. It fires 152, if I'm not mistaken, millimeter APF SDS, and is just extremely powerful. This thing pretty much has a Doom Cannon and is extremely fast, but also has no armor pretty much whatsoever. So it's kind of a mixed bag. If you're a fan of sniping, this is a great vehicle to play. Otherwise, it's not really all that great overall. I would recommend it if you're a sniper fan. Next up, we have the VRCC Centauro. Very similar to the Rookat 105, just a little bit more capable in my opinion. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this might have Gen 2, Gen 3 thermals. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. This is another one that, along with the Rookat 105 and AV8A, is going to go away after this sale, at least temporarily. I really like the VRCC Centauro. Very good, especially for scout players. Ezra Wiseman Spitfire Pack good pack but not really anything too special and the thing about this is that israel doesn't really have too much below this in terms of br so you're only grinding basically a few planes with this right so because the israel tech tree doesn't have rank one rank two or i think even rank three you can only grind a very few amount of planes with this so your grind per dollar amount on this is actually really really bad so it's a pretty decent vehicle for what it is but again you're not really getting your money's worth much the same goes with the m51 except this is a worse vehicle in my opinion it's slow doesn't really have much armor its heat shells are powerful but they of course ignite as soon as they hit anything like a tree or a fence post and uh, of course again this really doesn't have all too much below it in the tech tree that it will be able to grind through it's not terrible but it's not really all that great next we have the dora pack this vehicle is amazing in my opinion and so far as being a fighter is concerned it does go after enemy aircraft very well it's got okay-ish cas capabilities not really all that great but it's still a very good overall vehicle next we have the tu1 the tupolev one this is a fantastic vehicle when it comes to cas anything else not so much it is very very slow so you will be shot out of the sky a lot with it but it has extremely powerful cannons if i'm not mistaken you can also carry like three 1000 kilogram bombs with it so it's extremely powerful for cas however again it really is easy to get shot down in and uh buyer beware when it comes to that i like it for cas but it's just a really really slow vehicle for what it is Next, the Merkava Mark II D. This is pretty much a uh, a mobile bunker relative to this BR. I believe it's currently 9.3 or 7 BR. It's got Gen 1 thermals, a very powerful APF SDS shell, extremely good survivability relative to other vehicles. I like it a lot. It's kind of slow, however, uh, so want to bear that in mind. Again, this is one of those vehicles that will be going away after this sale, but it is a pretty damn good vehicle, all things considered, in my opinion. IJN Yamashiro, don't really know much about it, unfortunately. Then we have, of course, the starter packs. I like the US starter pack for only $2.50, pretty damn good deal. You get two vehicles, the M3A1 Stewart, and of course, the P36A, and you get premium time plus 120,000 silver lines. Much the same goes here. You get uh, the Sonda Krafatzeiga 140 slash 1 and the Junkers 87 R2 Stuka, which is pretty damn good, of course, with premium time and silver lines. Now, the HMS Iron Duke, don't really know much about it, so I can't say anything. But when it comes to the Prince Eugen, this is something I've played a lot. I think it just saw a BR decrease, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very, very good overall vehicle. It's got good cannon firepower in terms of its main cannons, and it also has pretty damn good anti anti-aircraft firepower just a really good overall heavy cruiser in my opinion then we have the marat can't really say too much about it unfortunately but uh pretty powerful if if i'm not mistaken i just don't know much about it then of course the other uh starter packs if you guys don't have the starter packs buy them i would say starter packs these are like a must buy pretty much for every single one they are all worth purchasing they are great uh you don't really get great vehicles with them insofar as like they're not going to help you out through the tech tree but when it comes to just getting a nice deal, for example, again, seven days of premium time and 120,000 silver lines, plus typically two premium vehicles, 
you really cannot go wrong with them. And some of these have really, really fun vehicles. Like, for example, the B1 Tear. That's such a fun tank, at least in my opinion. So you want to check those out. And then, again, when it comes to the Wings of Victory, Weapons of Victory, Tracks of Victory, all these things, look at them individually. See if you don't really mind getting them. You get a lot of premium time when it comes to purchasing these. But, again, for the majority of the vehicles on offer in them, they're just going to be copy-paste with a uh, premium tinge to them. So you want to bear that in mind. They're cool vehicles. Like, again, the P47 M1 RE, that's unique but it's not really all too different compared to a standard P47. It's a better one, don't get me wrong, it's one of the best P47s, but it's not necessarily all too much different to, so far as gameplay is concerned, and the Black Prince is pretty much the only purely unique vehicle that we have here. Now that said, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. Please let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Again, it kind of sucks that we have things like the F5C M1 KVT, the T72 AV Terms, all the other vehicles that are not on sale, but at least we still have a sale going on. But either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.